thinking. So many letters and such dangerous in meaning. The first things that might come to your mind are the benefits. For example, when scientists exceed in their ideas and because of that find out new discoveries. But I'm talking about overthinking in a psychological level, deep inside our mind. The process begins with an individual worrying too much and paying attention on a small point. However, useless exaggerating leads to depression, anxiety, and worst of all, suicide. According to the statistics, 57% of women and 43% of men are overthinkers. This problem is common mostly among teenagers who get involved in introversy, isolate themselves from people, and also feel uncertain about everything. It takes time to realize that nobody's perfect and to accept themselves the way they are. Not many of you were aware of how this issue is conquering the world. People miss a lot of things like opportunities in life. People miss a lot of things like opportunities in life and career. They isolate themselves from people and also don't interact with friends. In general, overanalyzing leads to blaming yourself, which is bad for your health. It is better to not lose each chance. In fact, the greatest prison that people live in is the fear of what other people think. An optimistic way of thinking leads to success and lightens our life. Now I want to include a portion of my own experience. When I was little, I used to have a language problem because of the fact that my family was multilingual. My mother spoke in Uzbek and my father spoke in Farsi. At the age of two, I began to understand English as well. But the main challenge started when we moved from North America back home. While I started to learn Russian, I thought I had a terrible accent and I always mixed up the endings of some words. It made me feel uncomfortable among my peers and I was afraid of them making fun of me. My mind was full of doubts and complete overthinking. Anyways, it took me two years until I finished fourth grade with excellent marks. My classmates didn't believe that I was the one of the three students who received a diploma for my special skills. I was able to prove that overthinking won't help unless you do something to stop it. I remember people wanted me to change my mind when I wanted to study painting. They told me it was an unnecessary and unimportant activity, so I started depending on their opinions. But I managed to finish five years of hard work, no matter what. You know why I didn't let my unconfident thoughts ruin my life? Because I have a deep connection between art. Even my surname is Artiman. Thinking is like sharpening your pencil. If you sharp it too intense, you will be left with a broken top. If not, you will perceive a chance to improve your life instead of overthinking. It is better to take action towards problem solving. Thinking is good up to a certain limit, otherwise your thoughts go by a vicious circle. You are the master of your own thoughts. I did prevent overthinking, so could you. That's why, my dear friends, think sharp and act smart. Thank you.